Welcome to Freshly for Animated. Now let's look at this example where our limbs consist of four elements rather than the typical three in the humanoid figure. Because of this extra element, we had to introduce an extra set of IK effectors. By now, everyone should be familiar with the fact that an IK chain consists of strictly two elements. So, to be able to control these four elements, we need to have two effectors. This effector here controls these two elements and this effector here controls these two elements. So by moving this effector, we control the leg from the hip and by dragging the lower one, we control the heel chain. If I hold down shift and move the master parent, you can see the feet are still nicely pinned to the ground and I can make the character recoil. And then using reverse IK, I can polish the position of the legs additionally. Let me switch colorization on so that we can explore and understand better how these effectors actually affect the IK chains. If I take this one, for example, if I drag it, the IK chain is colorized in red and the FK chains are colorized in green. So this effector controls these two elements, while this effector controls these two elements. Now if I raise the torso, you can see all that is lit in green is FK and the IK chains are red. Now, this is a reverse IK transformation and this is just the standard soft rotation. So if I drag the master parent, these are the ones that respond to IK. 